Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Elden Ring. Today I'll be gathering some smithing stones and killing off some of the minor earth trees I found. My friend gives me gave me a place where I can get threes because I can't get them infinitely right now. So what I have to do is I have to farm them. Which I was told that if I farm them here is the best option. Just because I have a really good area of effect spell in the Rotten Breath. Basically I'm supposed to kill the Radon soldiers and they have a chance to drop threes and fours. The threes is like a 2.5% chance though. How many do I need to actually increase my thing is something I'm going to check. Uh, I'm going to say I'm going to need at least five or four or five I think. Should be good enough. Wasn't actually trying to roll there. I just accidentally hit the button. Okay, yeah, that's jump. Okay, I'll kill these dogs off first. Always kill the dogs first. There. Any drops? Oh, nope, that's a bird. Here, take this bird. How'd you hit me through the freaking rock? Okay, I... am not sure what I did right there. Let's finish it. How many more? Okay. Rot breath. None of them actually have any drops yet. Even though this is supposedly the best place to farm for the smithing stones at this point. Okay, that's a drop. I only need four of them. Okay. That was actually incredibly lucky because they're like a 2.5% chance to drop from these guys. My friend gave me those numbers because he was telling me I should be here for a long time if I want to get them. But now I only need two more. It's just because I beat Radon and I kind of want to increase my seal a bit higher. Because my seal right now is at plus eight I believe. Hey dog. Oh, the dog lived.
You also knocked my horse sideways, so I missed the first one. This is also why I'm using Rot Breath instead of a Zeke's Decay, is that it has a bigger area of effect. Which is actually what I need. I don't need a tiny, tiny cone of rot. I need a giant, like, area of effect of rot. Smithing stone three, okay. And those guys will die. Let's see what you dropped. If it's another smithing stone, I'm... Nope. I was going to say if it was another smithing stone, I was good. Should have been a bit closer, I would have been able to get the others in the cone too. Still haven't completely got down the range of this yet. That worked, I guess. Oh, this guy dropped something. Hefty beast bone. Okay. Now I have to go sit at the bond or the side of grace again, and hopefully, the next one will give me the ones I'm looking for. Because the thing is, if I get that one more, I can bring my thing all the way up to plus 11 from plus 9. Or plus 8. I'm only going to be missing a few 4s, which I could probably get from just progressing the actual like game. Oh, did I... S oh, I was having the wrong one equipped. And I didn't kill that dog completely, so I'm going to regret that in a minute, I think. Man, I don't have to kill the dogs completely, I can just... My breath feels enough rot that it'll, the rot itself will kill them. These guys are what I need to kill anyways. Okay, there's a drop over here. Beast bones. No, blood. Arguably worse. I don't think any of them gave me a drop this time. Okay then. Set up the thing again. That just goes to show how lucky I was the first time when I got two of them. I'm also going to be going to the minor earth trees. I'm going to start from Liurnia because there's a tier up there I want for my final build. It's the Thunder tier. Don't remember exactly what it's called off the top of my head. There you go. More rock for you. Item. Not what I needed. I'll still take it and sell it, I guess. And raw breath.
Okay, please be the smithing stone. Here's the raw breath for you. No smithing stone. And now I have to deal with you alone, which is literally just a fireball. Yeah, I'm not getting too lucky right now. And the odds say that I should have to kill about, so I want to say... I don't know why my brain just stopped working. Forty of them in order to guarantee it. Which actually, I'm gonna let them start off the fight. I think. Yeah, I should let the soldiers start against the dogs. That way, the soldiers don't aggro onto me. That's good enough. Come on. I need the one. Ow. So, it pulls you towards you when that thing bites you. I actually never realized that before. It's a smithing stone too, of course it is. Of course when I need the three it gives me the twos. Only thing worse is if it would have gave me a four. Although I could still use fours, it's just I have s like ten of them already. No drop. Okay. Have I used up my luck already today? Wow. I'm getting runes too here, I guess. Even though I don't really need to level up, considering I think my faith is already at the soft cap. I just want to see if I can do that. I have no actual purpose other than that. And let's try the other dog. Okay, and there's a few items. Smithing stone 2. Smithing stone two. Foot soldier helm, which I'm gonna have a lot of helmets to sell. Well, helmets and other armor. Okay, that's another one. And there's another item over there. Okay, you didn't drop it. Hefty beast bones. Soldier greaves. Okay. Back to the bot. Side of grace I go. Yep, 
And it's only when I'm this close where it doesn't drop. Considering the first like the first time I tried going and killing them, I got freaking two of them right side by side. And then the next round I got one, and then I haven't got another one since. Like, I only need one more three. And the reason I'm coming to do this is because I'm already getting smithing stone sixes from places. Which I think was hinting at me that I should increase the level of my gear. I think that's what I was trying to hint at. Could be completely wrong. Wow, just run up and smack my horse, why don't you? Here you go. This is for smacking my horse. No items. Here you go. That's an item. Just the beast blood. And here. Now I kill these guys who I apparently missed the first time. guy it looks like more bolts of course why wouldn't it just be bolts the thing is, is I literally need one more to upgrade it at all the moment I get that one more, my damage will increase by, I want to say almost, uh, my spell buff right now is something like, I want to say my damage will almost increase by at least 4 or 5 percent, possibly more. Which isn't a negligible number. Okay, start off with this guy. Let him die on his own. And that was me just turning around to s just kill this guy. Because he was annoying me. I am dead. Okay, that was a lot of stuff he just gave me. And kill. That worked out. And that's the smithing stone I needed. So now I'm just going to kill off whoever's left and go and increase the level of my stuff. Here, take this. Kind of hoping that would give me my flasks and whatnot back. So now I have to go to just my black fireball. Which is still good enough to grind this place. Also, I have so many runes now, I didn't even notice. Okay. 
That's actually the first time I've looked at my runes since I've started farming. Actually, why did I come over here? I need to teleport. Over to here. Why did I freaking mark it? Yeah, I want to fly through the ocean towards it. That totally will work. I do really like being a mage build in these games, though. Just the effect of the magic you can cast is just awesome to look at. your arms, strength and armament. I'm too away from being able to get it all the way up to plus 12. But I'll find those two as I go, I think. the rest of my smithing stones. Do I have any way to increase the level of my spirits? Nope, I don't even have a two. Now let's level up. Now I'm at the soft cap. From now on, I'm going to increase Vigor and Mind. Because that's actually what I need at this point now, I think. I haven't checked what Radon actually gives. Star Sword, Gorge Greatsword, and Lion Great Bow. Don Spears. Radon's armor looks decent. Way too heavy for me though. Now it's time for me to start hunting down the lesser herb trees. I guess minor trees. They're technically not lesser. There is a distinction there, I think. I'm probably still going to die repeatedly. I buy a lot of them I have to clear. After today, my level's probably going to be pretty high. Make sure I can use the jellyfish. Okay, I was too far away when I started it. And now I run. Hit and run tactics are the best, actually. Or I could just do this, because apparently I do a ridiculous amount of damage. Oh wait, it's a tree person against fire. I actually forgot about that. <laughs> Cerulean tear. Ruptured crystal tear. Okay. Well, I was going to loot it right under the tree. 
No. There's materials. I'll grab a few of these materials. Oh, those those are just mushrooms. These are what I want. The sunflower things. Oh, so one hit literally kills these guys. Okay. I was a bit out of range for that guy. Just want to see if they drop anything good. I'm assuming their armor set. Actually, looking at their armor set closer, it doesn't look too good to me. And the next third tree is... There's two herd trees here. The other one I need to go to is over here. Okay, and I'm on it. And I think that one will have the tier I want. Yeah, I believe the tier I want is something like the what, Crackling Sacred Tier or something I want to say. At least the herd trees are easy to see. There be bears. That was me just trying to grab the item without having to fight the bears. Although, probably would have actually been pretty easy to kill them. Root resin. I feel like that's an item that's... Wait, what are you? You're a new enemy I think I haven't seen. Don't give much souls though, so eh. Oh, archers, yeah, I think I know what this place is, that's a room bear, which I'm going to see if I can't get past it this way. I don't think I can. So, run for it. I think I can outrun it. Or not. The moment I stop sprinting, I think I'm dead. Wait, you're an enemy? I literally got right up to him before he decided to attack. And it's dead. Do you glowing guy have any drops? Wait, that's a door. I didn't realize there was a door right here. Black knife catacombs. That sounds dangerous. But I'm not going into catacombs today. I'm literally just going to sit at the bonfire so I can leave.
Goodbye. Need to figure out a way up. I think I figured a way up. Or not. I don't think I'm that skilled. I think what happened is I might have just took a wrong turn. Yeah, I needed to go up left instead of right. Okay. I should have been able to go up there, I think, if my horse could jump farther. one of these guys mausoleum not sure how I'm supposed to deal with the mausoleum right now so I'm just gonna ignore it and here I can actually get to the tree I think side of grace Grace has been discovered. Am I supposed to jump onto the mausoleum or something? Is that how this works? Wait. Okay, I still have to go up further, I think. There's another one. Is this the right way? Yes, it is. But are these guys all archers? Okay, he's now rotted, which reduces the difficulty on me incredibly and he's dead now I just have to kill the extras magic lightning shrouding yeah that's the one I was looking for, the lightning shrouding because my final build is mostly going to be the dragon cult incantations. Which sadly I can't use on horseback, otherwise this one would probably be one I'd want to use. Although this is more effective against these guys anyways. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Dwelling Arrow. That's a pretty badass name for an arrow. Any more guys? Maybe behind the earth tree? Nope. I think I killed them all. Wait. Oh, somebody tried to run in here and got stuck, I think. 
because I saw the blood thing. What's it called? Blood stain. I want to see if there's a side of grace up just up here, anyways. Because I feel like there's something up there. If there is, there should be a ramp somewhere nearby. Which I'm not seeing one. So unless it's like really far out there, I don't think there's actually anything here. Yeah, I don't think this does like anything. Wait. There was a damage reaction there. If the fire goes all the way up there, it means I must be doing something to it. Or I'm just wasting my FP. Either way, I'll find out when I run out of FP. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is actually doing anything. I think I might just be wasting my FP. Because otherwise even a boss I think would be dead right about now. I'm just going to look at these, because I think I had something down when I was attacking multiple of them. And it doesn't matter. I'll just leave and see if I can't go up. From the looks of it, the answer is no. At least right now, from this area. So I guess I should find the next Erd tree to kill. What's that over there? Oop. That's another golden rune guy. Only a golden rune one. Yeah, those those are actually like the least efficient things at this point. Wait, there's something down this way? Okay. I think I might literally just be going back the way I came. Okay, so the other trees I've done are these two up here. So, wait, what's this? Oh, that's where the... Okay. I know what's there. 
That's actually one of the things they're probably supposed to be doing soon. Okay, so I'm going to go and teleport to here, and then go into that archery. Yeah, I do a lot of damage against these archery guardians. <laughs> the thing is, I also take a lot of damage from them. The fate of a squishy guy, even with this much armor. I forgot to take off my marker. Blood grease. Which actually is worth next to nothing. To me at least. But yeah. It's a good thing I took that one off because I was heading in the exact opposite direction of the one I actually needed to go to. Here we go. Yeah, and that cra Starfell Crater is something that happened from me killing Radon. Opened up, uh, what's it called? There you go. That's enough of the rot. Oop, wrong spell. This is the right spell. Which, yeah, I just destroy these guys. Opaline Bubble Tear, Crimson Burst Crystal Tear. Okay. Now I want to look around here because this definitely looks like the place where there will be stuff. As well, I'll just kill these guys. Okay, that wasn't even someone I was trying to kill, so I'm kind of glad I've didn't cast. These are the guys I want to kill. Yeah, and because I'm going dragon incantations, I have a lot of stuff to reduce FP cost. I'm thinking of grabbing. Just so I can use that as my main way of clearing. Because the one problem with dragon incantations is they cost a lot. I'm getting a lot of these sunflowers. Die. I just hate these guys. On principle. Which I might actually have to start clearing some of the Evergalls at this rate, because I've cleared like three of the earth trees already. Which means the next earth tree is I could go to either this one, this one, or this one. Okay, so with this one I'm going to have to go around and across, or I could go from here and down. Let's go to this one. 
And if when I complete all the minor earth trees, I'm then going to start on the Evergrowls. Which I should probably actually mix some of those tears into my flask. Don't think I really need the lightning one right now, considering I only have, well, I could use it right now. Which is, Cerulean restores half, Study restores HP for a time, Crimson Burst and Crimson Crystal. Yeah, this is the one I was looking for. This one was okay until I got to the freaking cap. Could also kill his dragon, I think. See if he's a named dragon first. There you go. Oh, it's flying dragon. Which still a bitch. Like, if I wanted to cheese this guy, he'd be incredibly cheesable. He's just not even worth the trouble of cheesing. Never mind. I'm gonna cheese him. I am squishy. Very squishy. Which, yeah, I'm gonna change the tiers I have. Because I just... Whenever I start to get a bit, like, uh, cocky in this game, the game just shows me off. That's the game the way of showing you that it can still screw you. No matter how high level you get. First off, I need to grab my runes. Everything else is negotiable. My runes are not. Because that was actually a level's worth of runes. Here you go. I can add around the fire. Just in case, I'm going to drink my physique. Oh, it's only one. It blocks one instance of damage. Oop, I just wasted a flask there. Okay, I'm just gonna... Let's 
Never stay under this guy for long. Oop. Run. Rot him again. That wasn't enough to rot him. That should be enough to rot him. That was interesting. I just watched him die midair. Oh. That explains why he one-shot me. Judging from the amount of runes I just got. Okay then. That seems like a good distribution. That's 10 more FP, which is basically enough for another cast of my fire, my black flame. Like half as much. Plus I got like an additional 30 health, which is the real bonus there. Because that's like an additional fifth of my health. Which it seems like a lot when you put it that way. Yeah, real good people for this game don't even need to put in Vigor. I'm bad at this game though, so I do need Vigor. Just grabbing all the Fogelger Blooms. Base, whenever I see those, for some reason, I just immediately stop whatever I'm doing and go and grab them. It's like a conditioned reflex for me. Specifically with those. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a putrid avatar. I didn't realize that at first. Putrid avatars might as well not waste my time with my breath because it will do nothing. Because they're already rotted. Okay, or into, uh, I think, the lore. Like, they're already putrid, so... They're not really afraid of the rot anymore. So what I need is this. Also. Finally, a challenge. And oh, what a freaking challenge it is! Considering I keep on getting stuck on the jars. Ow. Oh boy. 
I'm glad there's actually a challenge now. Mm. I'm debating switching which ashes I'm using. Okay, so equipment, instead of you, I'm going to use Skeletal Bandit, I guess. Okay, the Skeletal Bandit hit him. And died immediately. Oh shit. Yeah, of course I want to use it. Like, it asks me whether I want to get on my horse, but if I press the horse button, I want the horse. So yeah, I'm just going to have to kite this guy, I think. Oh damn. Okay. I thought I got out of range of those. Apparently not. Good news is apparently they are the archery avatars are stronger than I thought. So I won't have to do the Evergalls today. Also, Skeletal Bandit is useless. Let's go with just this guy. I will try to keep the aggro, I guess. Okay, I got stuck on a tree. And there goes the noble sorcerer. Okay. Run. That actually worked surprisingly well. Oh, so if we get too far out of range. Ow. I was close on that one. 
I know I said the jellyfish wasn't doing good, but I think I need the jellyfish. It's the only thing that can actually hold aggro for more than three seconds. It's actually hilarious. Although I totally can do this. Okay, my runes are up there, so I'm going to go grab them first. Which, after this guy, I'll have enough runes for another level up, I think. Also, in case you're wondering, the shield is just for, uh, what's it called? Let's say decoration. Ow, I just got freaking baseball batted. I haven't seen that attack before. Can you shoot behind you? Yes, it can. Okay, almost dead. Okay, one more cast. Whew. That guy was a challenge. Hopefully in hard tier and stone bar cracked. I'm... I'm in an area I shouldn't be, I think, actually, now that I think about it. Looking at how much runes that gave me. I think I wasn't supposed to do this at this level. Okay. That seems to be my playthrough, is I'm doing a whole bunch of, like, the high-level stuff at low-level, and then the low-level stuff at high-level. Okay, I was just confirming whether that was fake or not. That's something dangerous. How dare you exist. I was wondering why there was freaking a blood mark there. Oh, there's something over here. a castle. I wonder on a scale from 1 to 10 how hostile this castle is. Wait, I've been here before? Wait, you're telling me I literally could have just went down from here. Okay. Oh wait, I need to level up. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Basically gonna keep bigger in mind equal for now. Let's see, I have Another Erd Tree over here I can go take down. Yeah, I'll try this Erd Tree. It's another Putrid Avatar, so it's probably going to kick my ass. 
I only have two more trees left in the area I've explored. I do like the crystal, the opaline crystal tier thing, uh, opaline bubble crystal tier. But I'm going to see what that other one I just got did. Because I think I might increase physical resistance for longer. Temporarily boosts all damage negations. Okay. Gonna use that for now because I'm squishy. Only time I'm not gonna be squishy is when I finally find a dragon can weapon. Okay, the archery guardian should be all the way down. Right there. I'm gonna get stabbed in the back. Called it. Oh, this guy isn't actually as hard as the other guy was. You give putrid avatars a bad name. Never mind. You're still difficult. Ah. This always happens whenever I start freaking trash talking the enemy. I think it's just fate. When you start trash talking an enemy saying it's easy, it's just going to overwhelm you. I think this guy takes a lot more damage, but he has a lot more allies you have to worry about. I managed to do all that in the time. Okay, there it is. That damage negation is actually pretty good. Okay, one more hit. Oh gosh. Okay, I managed to avoid all but one of those. Just by running like a chicken with its head cut off. Green burst, which is stamina. And flame shrouding, that's the fire damage. Okay. I think I'm actually going to switch that into my flask for this next guy. Wait, I've taken the marker off, right? Looks like it. Today seems to be the day of levels. I guess it is because I'm killing so many mini-bosses. I am still going to have to get to the Avergrals in order to get reached two hours, though. Because I try to make my streams at least two hours most of the time. So now it's down to six and 47 health. Okay. Next one's going to be FP. Basically just going to alternate between those two for a little bit. Because I need to have enough damage to actually survive everything. Otherwise it doesn't matter how much damage I can do to it.
This is suspicious. Yeah, I had to get off my horse and actually check that thing out because it was like the most suspicious thing I've seen today. There's a minor tree literally right here. Wait, is there no guardian? Spiked, cracked, green spill. Oh, that sucks. I wanted the guardian. Take that barrel on instead. Yeah, I'm just going to say you're the guardian of the Erd Tree. Even though you have nothing to do with it. Also, increasing damage resistance and healing you over time is actually really good. Because it lets me do this and not even have to worry about my health too much. Hefty beast bones, lump of flesh, and some beast blood. Okay. Decent enough, I guess. Golden rune number five. Which is okay, I guess. Oh, it's golden fireflies. Oop, that's a bear. Not even a rune bear, that's just a bear. Wump of flesh and hefty beast bones. Actually, yeah, I guess that's the thing, is I actually have to worry about my horse more than me when I'm using this combination of tears. Which is actually interesting to think about. This view is just wonderful. But yeah, now I have to find my next place to do stuff. First off, unmark it. So yeah, I've done this herd tree, this herd tree. I've done both of these two. I've done these two over here. I've also done this one and this one. I guess the only other earth trees would be if I keep on going further up. Which I could do, but I think I'm just going to do that tomorrow. This cuckoo's Evergal. I'm going to start with the Evergal over here, I think. Forlorn Hound. 
I know there's another Evergal over here. I've been to it. That's Stormgate. The Weeping Evergal. I guess I'm going to start with the Weeping one. There's only like three of them actually. I thought that I had much more. Tomorrow I think I'm actually going to progress the game though. Well actually I shouldn't say tomorrow. I should say Wednesday. Because I'm moving my streams over an extra day. Because I'm going to be streaming something else tomorrow. I'm also finally going to be able to start streaming four days a week. Which is a good thing. Or ever go? Yes. The imp seal is in effect. Let me guess. Seal has something to do with these glowing guys, doesn't it? These gears are also incredibly weak, considering I have like no points in anything else. Oh wait. Never mind. I was literally just using the wrong thing. <laughs> Oops. Okay, drink. I have incredible resistance while my tears are active. Like I have resistance that shouldn't have as a mage. Radon Radagon Scar Seal. Okay. If I remember correctly. Does that increase the physical stats or was that the mental stats one? I think that was the mental stats. Equipment. Uh, Scar Seal raises attributes, but also damage taken. It increases all physical stats by three. But I take. Uh, Try to calculate this. I want to say 9% more damage. On average, yeah. I'm not going to use it because I don't use physical attacks, really. Oh, uh, hello. Thanks for coming to the stream. I'm pretty good doing some of the Evergals in this game. Which is that one. That's an Evergal right there, actually. Yeah, I just finished doing killing all the Erd Tree bosses I have actually unlocked so far. Leveled up like 12 times today already. In fact, I'm not even sure what level I am right now. I think I'm getting close to 100-ish. Yeah, 74.
which is actually about right for this area, I think. Not sure. Not sure what level I'm supposed to be for which areas. Ah, oh, this place is already unlocked. Good. Now I drink this and run towards it. Oh, it's a Don. Which he does a decent amount of damage. Oh yeah, he can drink too. And he's dead. I love this spell. Ah. Uh, that's interesting ish. I've talked to a graphic designer for me before, it's just I didn't have don't have enough money at the moment in order to get anything done. Um probably not right now. It actually does a lot of damage against these guys. Now I think this is the second to last. No, I should do this one first. Yeah, the problem is I don't have like any extra money to spare right now. So I'm not really looking I'm not really looking to get anything done for my streams right now. Plus I've already promised somebody else that if I do start looking for something for my streams, I'd go to them first. So yeah. They're one of the other people who watches my streams. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I've already promised somebody else that if I started looking for stuff for my stream, I'd go to them first. Don't really want to go back on that promise to them. But if they decline, I'll might go to you. But yeah, I'm also probably going to be ending this stream when I get the last of the Evergalls. Which I think the only one I have left is the 
cuckoo. Unless there's one over here. Yeah, just the cuckoo left. There has to be something over here. Yeah, I'm gonna go look at that actually after I kill this place. Yeah, thanks for offering. I probably would have gone to you if I didn't already have somebody who wanted to do it for me. Almost in the wrong area. Okay, that's over there. Lots of octopus. As long as this Evergal doesn't require stone sword keys, we're good. Because it doesn't require stone sword keys. Okay, that still does a lot of damage. Carry a knight. I did get that off at least. Oh, there's a freaking edge of the arena. Die. Great blade flanks. That's a sorcery. Problem is, is it's a sorcery. I only use incantations in this playthrough. Even though I started off as a sorcerer. Yeah, and I guess that's all the mini-bosses I know of right now. Okay, blades in that Evergirl. How we got there? I have no clue. Okay, so if I face this way, this is where the marker is, right here. Now let's see if I can't explore that. And it is true that if I am going to get anything, I'm probably going to get a logo first, just to have like on my starting screen. Okay, so it's this way.
just run right through them. And that's a big weakness of like half the enemies in this game is you could just run by most of them. It's over there. Wonder how I'm supposed to get over there. I'm assuming from along here. This is the most depressing minor tree right there. Let's go to chamber outside the plaza, I guess. I feel like I'm getting cocky in this game again after I got this flask. And I don't think that's a good thing. Started taking hits a lot more when I used to be trying to dodge them. Looking at this, I think I skipped a lot of stuff actually by. What's it called? Just activating the festival. Probably actually should have waited till I cleared the castle. Whoopsies. And I guess I have like half an hour still. Okay, what can I do for half an hour? I'm gonna go back this way and look. Cause I'm kind of hoping it's just till I finished off Radon. And not permanent, cause otherwise I lost a lot of stuff. Yeah, I think I just did something stupid. Oh well. Oh, you go talk to this guy. I haven't talked to Garank yet. I have the death root for him. At least a piece. I think I was supposed to go to him as soon as I got the first death root. But okay. Hey, Garank. Death. Feed it. Eye and claw. Claw mark seal. And beast eye. Which I think claw mark seal actually scales with strength. I'm getting all buffed up because this guy right here is in probably going to be annoying. Then you 
realize you could ride a horse into that building. Oh, I'm out of FP. That explains it. Oh my gosh. That was some damage. I just got rolled over. I ran over, I guess, not rode over. Yeah, I'm probably going to end the stream shortly. I think I was just using the wrong magic for it. Yep. Got it and I'm gone. That actually worked out decent. And I did I grab you already? Yeah. Okay, I looked over and I thought I saw that guy coming at me. Oh, there's a whole bunch of these little guys. I saw something gold fly past me. I'm like, what? See, I killed this guy. I'm just trying to see how much more I need. I need 7,000. Okay, I can probably manage that before I end of stream. So yeah, I'll end stream on next level up. Seems like a decent enough plan. Come on, horse, faster. What's up here? I think this is something. Hoping it's a church. A secondary path. I fell too far. I pressed the jump button way too early. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to teleport to a... Yeah, I'm going to teleport to... This one is actually closer. I just hope there's not another dragon at the bottom road. So I literally have to run over there and then run all the way back. Okay. And then tomorrow is going to be a game I haven't played in a while. Just all the rot lying around. For some reason this Scarlet Rot reminds me of the Coral Highlands from Monster Hunter. And I'm not happy that it reminds me of it so much. I 
and now I have to run all the way back to the other side run off the side cliff Oop, that almost killed me I almost die a lot in this game Although I, th I almost die like about 50% of the time like 50% of boss fights are me usually just almost dying and somehow getting through it and then there's been today where I've somehow just been destroying a lot of stuff Yeah, just like right here. Stick to the side of the road and there's not many people to shoot at you. And there's no dragon. I say and then dragon comes down and one shots me. Okay, that actually just worked. Uh, can I even get in here? Lena's rise. So I guess I just go down and see if there's anything. I hope is not death down here. Of course there's gonna be those giant freaking death traps. Yep. I knew it. There's something down here. Dragon Barrow Cave. I guess I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, I need to sit down so I can get my flasks back. Okay, I'm literally just trying to do this to stun him, hopefully. Although I guess good old fashioned rod is what's going to have to be. Okay, I'm just a bit far away. This is going to take a while.
I'm just gonna have to let the raw take its work. Which, yeah, entertaining gaming here. I'm going to crack those in order to level up. So yeah, I literally just have to wait for its health to go down. Which, I'm going to crack my runes and see how much it gives me. Sixteen hundred. I'll keep those two. They're not going to be anywhere remotely near enough. This guy's going to give me like a thousand though. I'm glad this freaking healing lasts so long. And the freaking damage reduction. Otherwise I would be dead already. I say that and then it runs out. Okay. At least that's enough damage to kill it. As long as there's not a second one. There's a second one, I'm dead. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore them. I think this cave is a bit beyond my level. I say that I'm going to get a golden rune 12. Like 12 is really good. Essentially got back the time I spent trying to kill everything. But let's see if that's enough for a level up. Otherwise I have to go kill the bear outside. Game. Oop. My game's starting to glitch out a bit. Not a good thing. And there. And the only one I have is Godric, which is just all attributes. But yeah, I'm going to be ending the stream here for today. So, thanks for coming to the stream. Thanks for the offer. And I hope you enjoyed the stream. And I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.